Good evening, girls. Hi, good evening. Hi. Hi. How are you, teacher? I'm fine, and you? I feel great. Thank you for us. All right, that's nice. Did you work today? Yes. And you? Right now? <laughs> well, yes, we are just finishing with the school year. So, um, well, I don't have to teach any more classes in the morning. However, I have to be checking some exams and some work in the platform and stuff. But it's not much. I mean, now we are better than, a than before, right? Yeah, a little relief. Uh, mm -hmm. yes. you, te you teach in other place that... Que no sea inglés corporativo. Oh, yeah. I teach in a school. I teach little kids. Ah, yes. Is the better work with the the kids or adults? Well, I like both actually. I love working with kids, but I also love working with adults. I, actually, I missed it a lot because, um, well, I started working in a university there in Santa Ana, so I worked there for two years and some months. Then I stopped because I had the new the new job, right, with kids. So I miss it a lot. And now that I'm working with this program, I'm happy. So yeah, I like both. <laughs> ah, excellent. In, in, what, in what university do you work? Bueno, I used work? to work at Unicaes. Ah, excellent. Yes. It's good. If tiene más clases, digamos, con con niños así en línea, no. Um, not now because we finished with the school year. Actually, we finished, let's see, last week. La semana pasada terminamos las clases y pues ahora solo estamos ya con cuestiones de notas, planificaciones y eso. Ya terminando todo. Yes. Más tranquilo, ¿verdad? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Qué bueno. <laughs> Thank you. So, how was your day? Um, all good, teacher. Okay. Uh, busy, very busy. Yeah, but I can imagine. Normally. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I bet. Normally, yeah. Okay. And so you, you work in Santa Ana too, Janet? Yes. I work in the downtown. Oh, okay. That's nice. Sorry if I'm checking my cell phone. It's just your classmates I are texting me, so I need to check. Sorry. Discúlpeme que esté viendo el teléfono, pero es que algunos compañeros me están escribiendo a esta hora, entonces estoy Don't un poquito worry. pendiente. Don't Thanks. worry. Um, hi, Gabriela. Good evening. Hi, Gabriela. Okay, good evening, Tamara. Hi. How are you? Um, <laughs> boring. Oh, you're bored? No, today? no, no. <laughs> it is. Eh, con sueño, ¿cómo sería eso? Oh, sleepy. Sleepy. Okay, okay. sleepy. All right. Yes. Did you work today? Um, homework um, and class. Okay. That's good. Yes. Mm. Okay. Hi, Esmeralda. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Hi, everyone. How are you? I am fine. And you? I'm doing great. Thanks. How was your day? 
Good. Very good. That's good. Okay. Did you have to work today? No, I am not work. Okay. You don't work. All right. Yes. Just the housework, right? Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, Francisco. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm terrific. Nice. That's great. Hi, Carlos. Good evening, teacher. How's it going? What? How's it going? How are you? Oh. Um, it's going, I don't know. <laughs> okay, how are you? Esa es otra forma de preguntar cómo está. Um, How's it going? Uh, okay. Uh -huh. How are you? Um, good. Um, occupied. Um, um, a conference. Conference and mm -hmm. um, online. Other, other, other online. Other, um, and um, chips. Um, nine p.m. Oh yeah, so it's kind of busy, right? Yeah. Okay, but. We're glad to have you here. <laughs> okay, teacher. Let's see. Hi, Gabriela. Hi. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Very well, thanks. Nice. So, how was your day? Gabriela, how was your day? Um, I'm fine. Just fine. Did you work today? Yes. Homework, the university. Oh, okay. You study at the university. Yes. That's good. What do you study? Nurse. Okay, we're going to be a nurse. Nice. That's great. Hi, Selena. Good evening, how are you? All right, that's nice. Selena, se le escucha super bajito. Check your microphone, please. Good evening, Gerardo. Hi, Veronica, good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? Very well, thanks. Excellent. We're glad to have you here. Yeah. Okay. So, everyone, have you had the chance to work in the platform? Yes. 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 Nice. Uh, Great. Uh, platform yes. um, section 2.6.5. Um, okay. That's nice. Yes. All right, that's great. How about the um, others? You, um, do you all search section? Okay, <laughs> you finish. Yo no puedo, no oh. termino. No puedo contraer. <laughs> what happened? Que la termino. <laughs> okay, and how about the others? Have you worked in the platform? Let's see, Selena, have you had the chance to work in the platform?
Selena. Have you been working in the platform? No sé si ha estado trabajando en la plataforma. ¿En qué sección vamos? Sorry, Selena, I cannot hear you. No le escucho, se oye muy bajito. A lo mejor es cuestión de la conexión o algo. Ok. All right, that's fine. And you, Francisco, have you worked in the platform? Hi, coach. Hi, have you been working in the platform? Voy a iniciar, coach, porque como le mencioné oh, el yes. día de ayer, entonces he tenido bastante inconveniente con eso, pero prometo ponerme al día en esta semana. All right, don't worry. That's fine. Okay, gracias, coach. Bye, coach. All right, so I think we are ready to start. Are you ready? Yeah, ready. ready. Yes. All right, great. So let's see. Just get my screen. Okay, so welcome again to our tonight's session. And the first thing we are going to do today is to decide if we use feel or have by making some sentences. So I'm going to choose a person and then I am going to give you a subject and either a noun or an adjective like this one. And then you have to complete it. You have to make a sentence. For example, here, I feel or I have terrible. What do we say? Feel. Feel, feel right? Feel. I feel terrible. Feel. Okay, very good. Next one, Janet. Hi. I have er uh, Eric. Eric. Ah, no, perdón. He, he have Eric. He has. He has. Ah, perdón. He has. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. He has Eric. Yeah. Very good, Janet. Sorry, sorry, Janet. Sorry, Janet. Sorry, Janet. Sorry. No, thank you. Eric. Okay. Okay. Very good. All right, just remember, whenever we're talking about pain, we add a or an. Cuando hablamos de dolores, normalmente le agregamos a o an. He has an earache. Or I have a headache. Dolor de cabeza okay. o un dolor de oídos, ¿ok? De oído. Mm -hmm. All right. He has an. Yes, yes we say he has an earache. Oh. Ok. All right, next one, Carlos. They feel angry. They feel angry, nice. Angry, angry. Gerardo, you're next. I feel sad. Very good. Next one is for Esmeralda. She has... And what the pronunciation? Anxious. 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 It's Anxious. an adjective. It's an adjective, no, Esmeralda. Anxious. So we see. She, mm -hmm. she has. She has a anxious. Okay. In this case, we say she feels. Okay. She feels anxious. Ah, she feels. Okay. Anxious okay. sería ansioso o ansiosa. Okay. Uh huh. Es un adjetivo. Okay. She feels anxious. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Next one, Francisco. Sorry, Francisco, we cannot hear you. Creo que está hablando, pero no le podemos escuchar. So, let's see. Um, 
Verónica, can you give it a try, please? We, uh, we are sure. We have we a have. source. Mm -hmm. so, uh, throat. 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 Very good. We have a sore throat. Sore throat is dolor de garganta, okay? We have a sore throat. We have a sore throat. Okay, and the next one we have, Selena. I have pain in my knee. Thank you. I have a pain in my knee. And we have okay. one last one. Let's see who's helping me. Tamara. We confuse. We feel or have confused. What do you say, Tamara? We have confused. Um, in this case, we use feel, okay? We feel confused. Oh, okay. Confused, confundido. Nos sentimos oh. confundidos, right? We feel confused. Thank you, Tamara. Okay. All right, so everybody, please repeat. Terrible. 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 Eric. Terrible. Eric. Eric. Angry. 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 Sad. 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 Anxious. 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 Sore throat. Sore throat. Pain in my knee. Pain, Pain in, my in my knee. knee. Confused. 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 Okay, do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Or anything? Mm -hmm. Hello. Okay. Hi. Do you have any questions? No questions. Yeah. No questions. Okay. okay I hear that. Yeah. So tell me. Que hable el compañero. So no questions. Gustavo, do you have a question? He is the, which is the difference in between sore and pain. O sea, ¿por qué no se dice en la misma dolor? Y la otra parece que es dolor también, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál Exactamente. Es la Tenemos eh, tres palabras para dolor, que serían ache, como en el caso de earache, headache, eh, toothache, stomachache. Y también tenemos sore, que ese sí se puede eh, traducir como dolor y también como ardor, sore throat. Podría ser dolor de garganta o como ardor en, en la garganta, right? And then we can also use it like sore eyes and some others. Ese lo podemos utilizar con distintas partes, de, partes del cuerpo. Y luego tenemos pain que sí sería igualmente dolor, y ese se utiliza pues con todas las partes del cuerpo. Y usted nada más cambia eh, la última palabra, pain in my, pain in my head, pain in my finger, pain in my leg, or anything. Y luego pues eh, solamente tenemos algunas palabras que toman ache, que las más comunes, ya lo mencionábamos el día de ayer, son earache, headache, um, stomach ache. Then we have um, toothache and what's the fifth one? I forget. Let's see. So yeah, headache, earache, toothache, stomach ache, and oh, backache. 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 Thank you. And then for the others, we can use sore or pain. Para las demás podemos utilizar pain o sore. Las más comunes con ache son las que acabo de mencionar. Y pues en, en sí, en, en el significado son lo mismo, básicamente, excepto sore, que también puede ser ardor. ¿Es it clear, Gustavo? A little. A little. Okay. Confused. 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 Eh. No, perdone. Este, me imagino que quizás ha de ser lo mismo que yo al principio estaba confundida y si lo sigo estando, me corrigen. Que feel se puede ocupar cuando son enfermedades quizás no físicas, sino que 
como la ansiedad, ¿verdad? Que es alguna enfermedad que no, que no es dolor físico, sino que es interno. ¿verdad? Pero no sé si es o confundida o trastornada, ¿verdad? Que se puede ocupar fil en ese, en ese entonces. Sí, así es. El fil lo usamos para hablar de, de sentimientos, de emociones. Por eso decíamos que lo utilizamos con adjetivos, porque los adjetivos lo que hacen es describir, ¿verdad? La forma en que me siento en dado momento. Like, I feel terrible. Me siento terrible o terriblemente, right? They feel angry. Ellos se sienten enojados. Entonces, describe sentimientos, describe emociones con feel. En el caso de have, que es tener, ya hablamos de algún tipo de dolor, alguna enfermedad. Like, he has an earache. Él tiene un dolor de oído, right? Is it clear now? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. it should be. All right, great. So, Gustavo, en todo caso podríamos decir que son sinónimos. Las tres palabras son sinónimos y significan básicamente lo mismo. Se ocupan de igual forma. Solamente hay que tener cuidado con el hecho de que ache se agrega a la palabra de, perdón, a la parte del cuerpo que nos duele. Acá lo hacemos una sola palabra, sería una terminación. Ache, earache, toothache, stomachache. Entonces se hace una sola palabra agregándole el ache, que significaría dolor, y la parte del cuerpo, ¿verdad? Y luego las otras sí son palabras separadas como sore throat, sore eyes, sore arm, for instance. Acá agregamos la parte del cuerpo después de sore. Y la última que sería pain, que la utilizamos de esta forma, a pain in my, y luego menciona la parte del cuerpo que le duele. Is it clearer now? Yeah. Better? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, we had another one. It's you feel or you have terrific. What do you say? You feel. Exactly. You feel terrific. You feel. Okay. So now let's talk a little bit about common medications. I think you have seen the video. It mentions some of the most common medications like antacid, aspirin, muscle cream, cough syrup, cough drops, cold pills, eye drops, acetaminophen, and ibuprofen. So please, everybody repeat, antacid. 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 No, sorry, me cuesta. Don't It's worry. It's fine, don't worry. Then say aspirin. 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 Muscle cream. Muscle, muscle cream. Muscle, muscle cream. Muscle cream. Tell me. Eh, este, bueno, ese sí no sé ese vocabulario. Eh, Moscow, más o, o después va a decirlo en la traducción. No, tranquilo. No sé, eh, en cuanto tenga una duda, puede interrumpirme, no hay ningún problema. Muscle sí, cream sería crema para músculos. Muscle, muscle significa músculos. músculo. Exacto. Muscular. Muscle cream. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then we have cough syrup. Repeat, cough please. Syrup. Cough, syrup. Cough, syrup. cough drops. Cough drops. drops. Cold pills. Cold pills. Cold pills. Eye drops. Eye drops. Acetaminophen. Acetaminophen. Ibuprofen. Ibuprofen. Okay, do we have any questions about any of the medications? No sé si tenemos preguntas. Yeah. Okay, tell me. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Um, ¿Cómo es? Uh, no conozco. I don't know. Uh, those, the meaning? Those words. Ajá, ninguna la conozco oh. en español. Okay, no sé don't significan. worry. 
Solo We're aspirine going... porque ahí es, es más fácil. It's similar, right, to the Spanish word. Ajá, okay. similar. So we have antacid, antiacido, right? Antacid. Then antiacido. aspirin, aspirina, muscle cream, crema para músculos, cough syrup, sería jarabe para la tos, cough drops, que son pastillas para la tos, que podrían ser como los dulces que utilizamos cuando tenemos tos. Ah. Then the cold pills, serían pastillas pill. frías en este caso, no sé si tienen un nombre especial en, en español que alguno de ustedes conoce. Antigripales. Antigripales. Eh, an <risa> no, no. Yeah. Sí, I'm el pills sería cápsulas, pastillas. Y luego en este caso, cold pills, que significa como pastillas como frías. Como es un tipo específico. Sorritone. De... Yes, that would be It's a cough drop. Eso uh, serían cough, cough drops. Drop. Uh -huh. Ok. Los sofritones van en este. Cough drops, que serían también como los dulces holes y todos esos que utilizamos mm, yeah. para cuando tenemos mm, tos, yeah. right? Then yeah. we have eye drops, que son gotas para los ojos. Los ojos. Y también aclarar esa palabra drops, se puede conjugar con distintos, de, distintas partes del cuerpo. Por ejemplo, pueden decir eardrops, que serían gotitas para los oídos, right? Eardrops, eye drops. And then acetaminophen, acetaminophen, ibuprofen, ibuprofen, right? Is it clear now? Yeah, it's yeah. clear. Okay, nice. All right, so now it's time to practice. So here I have a, a short conversation that you are going to complete. I am going to send you to breakout rooms right now and you are going to have three minutes to complete the conversation. So it goes like, how are you or how do you feel? You decide. And then person B answers, I feel, I feel great or I feel terrible, I feel sick or whatever adjective you can add. Then person A says, what's the matter? What's wrong? I have, and then you add any illness or any symptom that you think of, like I have the flu, I have a headache, I have a backache, I have a pain in my arm. And at last, the person A answers, well, you can take, and then you suggest a specific medication, okay? Any questions? No questions. Okay. So let me send you. Tell me. Y si eh, la respuesta sería que nos sentimos bien o tendríamos que decir siempre que tenemos algo para poder responder las la demás preguntas. Hmm. Sí, ahí ustedes deciden cómo manejan la conversación. He puesto esto para que utilicemos los medicamentos y también los síntomas y enfermedades. Pero si usted acá quiere cambiarle a algo positivo, perfecto. Nada más que tendrían que agregar un par más de líneas, ¿ok? Ah, oh, ok. Perfecto. All right. So let me send you to the breakout rooms right now. Please accept the invitation. Hi, girls. Hi. Hi. How is it going? Eh, <laughs> todo comenzar, vamos. Okay, you're going to start soon? Yeah. Hey. All right, do you have the conversation? Eh, 
Yes, uh, ya la, ya la, la noté. Ah, okay, that's great. Yes. I'm just going okay. to send a picture to the group right now, so everybody, everybody has. It. All right, so see you in a moment. Um, B, oh, B. B, okay. You, you are okay. How do you feel? I feel fine. Mm, excellent. Um, brazos en el video. Nurse. Ah, worse. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué significa? Eh, brazos. Ah, arms. Fisher, perdón. Brazos. Arms. Arms. Mm -hmm. arms. Arms. Yes, ah, arms. 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 Uh -huh. Arms. Okay. Miss Lily, how are you? <laughs> I'm fine, and you? <laughs> ah, a little, a little, well, and okay. I have a sore too. I have a sore too. Oh, really? And I, I have a headache. That's so yeah, bad. I'm, I, I'm tired. Where do you come from? I'm so tired. Yeah. I imagine. Uh, aquí estoy. Sí, gracias uh -huh. por el esfuerzo. Ya va a ver que, que va a valer la pena, sí. ¿ok? <laughs> sí, me arde la... Um, ¿Cómo se dice me arde la garganta? Lo mismo. Sort a throat. sore throat. Uh -huh. A sore throat. Sort of. uh -huh. I have sort a sore throat. throat. Uh -huh. Hoy aprendí eso también yeah. en, la en la clase eh, llenando la plataforma. Ah, Sobre excelente. Los medicamentos. Uh -huh. No ha llegado a esa parte. Creo que después de las enfermedades va en lo de los medicamentos. ¿Cómo el sí, pero no me he memorizado. No, no no. Memora ¿Cómo se dice? I, I haven't no, memorized no me it. I have no, I have no memorized. Uh -huh. Memorized. Uh -huh. Ok. So don't worry, just keep on practicing. Es de seguir practicando. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Sí, eso sí. You're right. <laughs> okay, That's thank good. you, Okay, uh -huh. see you. Tell me. Una consulta. Acá en la primera dice, how are you? Y luego dice, how do you feel? Por ejemplo, eh, ¿cómo estás? O ¿cómo te sientes? Sí. Eh, Sería pues... la, la, la pregunta. Sí, exacto. He puesto las dos para que ustedes escojan cuál de las dos pueden o quieren utilizar. O incluso ah. podrían incluir las dos. Por ejemplo, um, how are you? Not so well. What, what's the matter? How do you feel? Or something like that. Right? Ahí le va agregando. ¿Qué serían las dos preguntas para, eh, para ver cómo está, verdad? How are you? ¿Cómo estás? Or how do you feel? ¿Cómo te sientes? Right? Cualquiera de las dos puede utilizar en el mismo contexto. Mm, ok. Yes, me. Bye. Yes, me. Tell me. Really. Eh, ¿Qué significa? What's the meaning? Uh, so like that. Algo así um, no se nos Ah, something like that, maybe. Something like this. Something like this. Algo Ajá, así. Algo así. <laughs> Eso significa algo, algo así. así. Ah, algo así. I feel, ah, I think. Or something lo, like lo that. Sí, yo lo digo mucho. Ah, something like this. Ah, like algo this. así. Okay. Me gusta esa expresión. Mm -hmm. I like mm -hmm. that expression. expression yeah, it's or... useful. Ah, it's, ajá. Sí, sirve bastante. Sí. Ok, just, Bye. I'll see you in just a minute, ok? Ok. Ok. Bye. Ahí me va a preguntar usted. Hagámoslo antes y le voy a preguntar a usted. Eh, hi, Esmeralda. How do hi, you Selena. feel? Mm, I feel uh, awful. Eh, what the matter? Mm, I have a... I have a... Headache. Headache. In, in a package. I have a headache, I, I have a package. Oh, well, oh, well. 
you can take after um, y para el dolor de espalda es ese, el otro que me di ibuprofen no digo yo ah entonces well you say oh esmeralda well you say after and Ay, no, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Ibuprofen. Ibuprofen. Uh -huh. All right. Did you have time to complete the conversation? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. All right. That's nice. So yes, let's see, do yes, I have yes. a pair of volunteers to start? Any volunteers? Me, teacher. Okay, Janet, and who are you working with? Carlos. But like Come on, Carlos. yes, yeah, I, 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 I teacher. Okay. okay, so you can start now, Carlos and Janet. Janet. Le pregunto, Carlos. Okay. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel fine. Um, I feel fine. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, Don't worry. Um, okay. Why do you feel fine? Es que el, es que, uh, el, dog, el perrito está ladrando, por eso que no me escucho. Ah, oh, the dog is barking. So, don't worry. No se preocupe, si lo escuchamos a pesar del ruido, no se preocupe, ¿ok? Ok. No problem. So, repeat, repeat, Janet, please. Why do you feel fine? I feel fine. Um, uh, uh, we're, um, they very good. Okay, it's amazing. <laughs> All right, excellent. Okay. All right. Thank you, Carlos and Janet. Let's Thank see the next pair who's going to participate. Let's see. How about Esmeralda? Okay. okay. Who's your pair, Esmeralda? Who's yes, your pair? Selena. Okay, Selena, go ahead, please. You can start now. Okay. okay. Hi, Selena. How are you? I feel sick. Ah, okay. What's the matter, Selena? I have flu. Oh no, well, you can take a cold and ibuprofen. Ibuprofen. Ibuprofen, ibuprofen. Oh, okay, Esmeralda, thank you. You're welcome. Very good. Thank you, Esmeralda and Selena. Great job. Let's see next pair, Hi, Veronica. Me. Hi. So, Veronica and Gustavo, right? Okay. Go ahead. Hi, Gustavo. Hi. How are you? Okay. Very well, thanks. And you? Um, I'm a little sick. What do you recommend? 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 Recommend to me? Recommend? Uh, Recommend to me, así es. Ibuprofen. Ibuprofen. ¿Cómo se dice ibuprofen? Okay, ibuprofen. Thank you. Ibuprofen. 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 Okay, thank you. I appreciate your advice. All right, very nice. Okay. 
Excellent, Veronica and Gustavo. Let's see that we have another pair. Gabriela, who are you working with? Hello. Is Tamara. With who? Tamara. With Tamara, okay. So Tamara and Gabriela, go ahead with your conversation, please. Hello, Tamara. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> How do you How feel? How are you? Uh, okay, uh, I feel uh, sick. What's the matter? I have a... I have... I, I have fever. Well, you can take... Uh, Acetaminophen? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, how are you? I feel bad. Uh, what's wrong? I have allergy. Well, uh, you can take... Mm. <laughs> what, what is it? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you should take. You will prefer Loratadina. Loratadina. Okay, that's it. Yeah. All right, excellent. Thank you, Tamara and Gabriela. Just let's see, we are missing mm -hmm. Gerardo and uh, Miriam. Is that correct? Okay. All right, so you can start now. Con quién me toca? Um, where are you working with Gerardo? No estaba trabajando con Gerardo. Con quién trabajo Gerardo? Eh, a mí no me mandó a ningún grupo. Really? Qué extraño. Hello, Gerardo. Sí, sí lo mandé, Hello. pero no sé por qué no le habrá caído la, la invitación. Hmm, that's weird. So, sorry about that. Tal vez podemos mi pareja, intentar. Mi pareja era Francisco. Oh, ok. So, Miriam and Francisco. Thank you. Hello, Francisco. How are you? Quizás no está disponible. Si quiere le pregunto a Gerardo. Ok, sí, porque veo que Francisco enciende el micrófono, pero no, no le logramos escuchar. Ok, so work with Gerardo. Ok. No. How are you? I'm fine. Let's see, now we can hear Francisco. Ahora why sí are escuchamos you? a Francisco, sorry. <laughs> Perdón, <laughs> es que ahora sí. <laughs> okay, so let's try it. A ver, intentemos con Francisco, entonces. <laughs> okay, what are you, you fine, Francisco? Okay, so it doesn't work. Sorry, Miriam. Sí, lo siento, no. Sí, a lo mejor es cuestión de la conexión o algo porque no. Veo que Francisco habla, pero no le escuchamos. So, anyways, let's continue with the class. You're going to participate later, okay? So, thank you, Miriam. Thank you, Gerardo. Okay. And thanks, Francisco. So, let's continue with today's lesson objectives. So, by the end of this class, you will learn how to use positive and negative mm -hmm. imperatives. 
Additionally, you will also practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Ahora vamos a hablar un poquito de los imperativos. Eh, para iniciar, voy a poner una conversación para que podamos escucharla. Necesito que pongamos atención a los participantes de la conversación y a la, a la, al tema de conversación. What they're talking about, ¿ok? So, let me see. Okay, so listen and pay attention. You have to tell me who are the characters in the conversation and what's the conversation about. So please pay attention. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. Don't. Pueden escuchar? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Yes. Thank you. Work too hard. Let's listen and practice. Don't work too hard. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. The conversation. Okay. So, did you get what the conversation is about and who are the participants or the speakers? Guys? Um, ¿Puedo participar? Yes, please. Let's see. So, who are the speakers? Okay. Hey, inicio. Yes, go ahead, please. Hello, Miss Carlos. How are you today? Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Sorry. Disculpen que los interrumpa. Nada más, ya vamos a practicar la conversación. Gracias, Miriam. Solamente que primero necesito que me ayuden con las dos preguntitas que les dije. Who are the speakers? ¿Quiénes son los que están platicando? ¿De ¿Quiénes son los de la conversación? Uh -huh. And what are they talking about? ¿De qué están hablando? No sé si pudimos identificar esas dos cosas. Doctor, paciente. Yeah, it's a doctor and a patient. And what are they mm -hmm. talking about? What's the matter? Work too hard. Yes. So the patient works too hard. Exactly, Selena. She's exhausted. She's so tired. Very good. All right. So now let me just... Get my presentation. We have the conversation here in order to practice. Okay, here we have the conversation. Um, take a look at it and tell me if there are any words that you don't know, any new words or any word that you need to find out the pronunciation of. A ver, um, si identifican alguna palabra nueva o alguna palabra de la que no sepan la pronunciación, me pueden decir en este momento. Exhausto. Exhausted. 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 Any other question? Bien. Sorry, what is it? Gabriel? Peel. Peel. This one? Esta es pastilla. Una pastilla. Peel. Peel. Mm -hmm. Any other? Tenemos más preguntas? How? How? Which one, Selena? 
Selena, which one? The teacher is don't, don't work too hard. Don't work too hard. Eh, sería uh, no trabajar muy duro. Uh, muy duro. Muy duro. Uh muy -huh. pesado. Uh -huh. No yeah. trabaje mucho. En este caso, si lo traducimos así, don't work too hard, no trabaje mucho, right? O no trabaje muy duro, muy fuerte. Uh -huh. Any other question? I have a question. I have a question, teacher. Tell me. Um, I'm going to do to give or give give the sun. Give the sun. Yes, some pills. I'm going to give you some pills. Le voy a dar unas pastillas. Okay, thanks. And then it continues like, take one pill every night after dinner. Se toma una cada noche después de yeah, la cena. Okay? De, después de la cena, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, any thanks. other questions? No sé si tenemos más preguntas. No? Okay, solamente quería mencionar acá con este mes. Um, en este caso, lo utilizamos, es uno de los titles. Como Mr., tenemos Mr., que es para hombres. Y se utilizan todos en general con el apellido. For example, if I want to call Carlos a Mr., then I say Mr. Dominguez. Mr. Oh. Dominguez. Or, let's see, Gerardo would be Mr. Alfaro. Mr. Alfaro. Y luego tenemos para mujeres tres diferentes. Tenemos este, que es Ms. Miss. En este caso lo utilizamos igual con el apellido y es para mujeres que no estamos seguros si están casadas o no lo están. Puede ser para cualquiera de las dos. Luego tenemos Miss, Miss, que es para mujeres solteras. Miss. Que you solo miss se... Yes, I'm a Miss. <laughs> I'm not married. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ok, so I'm Miss. Mendoza, right? And then we okay. have Mrs., which is for married women. También tenemos Mrs., que sí sería para mujeres casadas. For example, let's see, Verónica, are you married? Hola. Are you married? ¿Está casada? No. No, okay. Let's see, do we have any married... Woman over here, no sé, ¿alguna de ustedes está casada? No. No? Ok, only single women here. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> en todo caso, utilizamos Mrs. para mujeres casadas, de igual forma con el apellido Mrs. Martinez, Mrs. Um, what, Álvarez, just whatever. Entonces eso, son cuatro para hombre, Mr., sin importar si es casado o es soltero. Para mujer, Miss, como el que tenemos acá, sin importar si es casada o soltera, si es soltera, Miss, y si es casada, Miss. Okay? All right, so now it's time to practice. So let's see, um, who was the volunteer? Miriam. Miriam, now you help me to read together with, who's going to help me? Let's see, alguien más que quiera leer? I, do, I doctor. Okay, so Carlos, you're the doctor, and Miriam, you are the patient, Miss mm -hmm. West. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Start, teacher. Uh mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, please. Um, hello, Miss West. Miss, um, la apellido de Miriam. Gonzalez. Oh. Ah, oh, Gonzalo. Uh, ¿Puedo decir así, Miss González? How yes. are you today? Hello, Miss González. How are you today? Not so good. And so, what's wrong? What's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I'm just so tired. I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. 
I'm going to give to to give you some free pill, 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 pill. Pills. Yes, pills. Pill, pill. Okay. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And then and don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thanks, Dr. Jung. Okay, Mrs. Mendoza. Gonzalez, Gonzalez, right? Gonzalez, exactly. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's fine, don't worry. So very good, um, okay. Miriam and, Cas and Carlos, thank you. Now let's see another pair to practice. Oh, let me check the time. Yeah, we got time for one more pair. Mitchell. That is Janet. Um, Janet and? Yes. Um, Gabriela. Okay, so yes. Gabriela, you start. Go ahead. Uh, miss. Doctor. You're the doctor, Gabriela. Ah, okay. Hello, Miss Herrera. How are you today? Not so good. So, what's girl exactly? I am exhausted. Mm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look. At you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work food. All right. Thank you, Dr. John. All right. Very good. Thank you, Gabriela and Janet. So let's see. Now I need you to repeat, please. What's wrong? What's wrong? Exactly. 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 Exhausted. 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 Tired. 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 Repeat, please. Tired. Tired. Sonaría más o menos como decirlo así. Tired. 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 Okay, then we have, let's see, take. Take. Give. 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 Pills. 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 And let's see if it, that's it. Oh, repeat please. Anything. Anything. Anything else. Anything else. Okay. No sé si tenemos preguntas sobre la conversación. No questions. No questions. Okay, very good. So let me just mention, um, acá en esta conversación encontramos un par de imperativos. Eh, estos serían, por ejemplo, este. Take one pill every night. Tómese una pastilla cada noche. Los imperativos los usamos para indicar ¿Qué debemos hacer? En algunos casos se pueden utilizar para hacer reglas, para dar recomendaciones, etc. Eh, por ejemplo, en el caso del doctor que siempre le dice lo que tiene que hacer, ¿verdad? Like, take one pill every night. Luego tenemos, don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. No, no tome no. café, té, ni soda, so, ¿verdad? Right? Uh, no. The same goes for like don't coffee. work... Yeah, right. We all like it, I think. Oh, uh, or soda so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hard mm -hmm. when you go to the doctor and he says this. <laughs> <laughs> so then we have don't work too hard. No trabaje mucho, right? 
esos serían los hiper, okay. imperativos. Eh, vamos a hablar un poquito más de ello mañana porque ya se nos fue el tiempo. So, eh, let's leave it for tomorrow. Take care and have a good night. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night, good night teacher. Bye, guys. Take care. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.